What a, what a privilege it is to be in the house of God here, and what a privilege it is to know Reverend Dr. Charlene Phillips and uh, Reverend uh, Jacob Phillips, too, and his uh, family. And I first um, got to know uh, Reverend Dr. Phillips um, when she was involved with uh, the, the Unity events in uh, the Culpeper area, because God died not just for people, but he died for cities. He died for businesses, you know, and other things. So I was just impressed. My heart's desire is to see the community really come together, as they talk about in the book of Acts, uh, where there is no black, there is no white, there is no Hispanic, there is no male, no female, but we're one in Christ. So Pastor Charlene was taking a lead role, you know, bringing unity to our community with a variety of not just events, but, uh, but she's also a woman of prayer. And she got involved, she was the prayer coordinator for Culpepper for 2007. And uh, what a wonderful job she did. She got her superintendent of schools there, uh, someone who's now our sh sheriff for Culpeper County. And she got our vice, vice chairman of the county board of supervisors. So she got them to come out and just acknowledge God in their lives. Yeah. And what a great accomplishment that was. Yeah. And in our state, I do a daily devotional called The Daily Blessing, which I've been doing for about two years, and I've stayed connected with Pastor Charlene uh, through that devotional. And she called me up in uh, January, I think it was, and she asked about having a website for your church. So as I shoot these videos, they're ultimately going to be on your website probably this week. <laughs> person and you know my life first is the greatest commandment to just love Jesus you know there were 600 some laws Moses boiled them down to the Ten Commandments and Jesus boiled them down to two that we're just to love God with all our heart with all our mind with all our soul with all our strength that means with all our being all the time everywhere we go amen and if we do that I promise you you'll love people because if you experience God's love you know God says that we love because he first loved us but anyway, I really have felt the love of Pastor Charlene and Jacob Phillips, and it's just been a delight. But when I called her up in January about this website, I, I said, how are you doing? And she said, you know, uh, anyway, she shared, and then I said, how's your family doing? She shared some, and she said that JJ uh, was, um, was had graduated from college, and he was looking for a job. And so I said, well, what, what does JJ do? So well, he's, a, he's an artist. Ever since he could hold the pencil, he's been drawn. And so anyway, JJ joined part of the call. I had him come over the next day. We went for a walk. You know, I shared my heart. He shared his heart. He went to work that day. <laughs> and you know what? It's been such a blessing. Uh, JJ is the most anointed uh, graphics artist that I've ever known in my life. And I know, I do uh, web development, so I come across a lot of people, but he's really taken me a, to a new level in terms of what I can do. And because of that graphical design work, it's opening up huge doors, huge networks. So I just say thank you for that. Um, it's been a blessing, too, you know, because, you know, I've got to know Charlene as a mother. <laughs> Not just as a woman of prayer, not just as a pastor, but as a mother. And what a wonderful job she's done with JJ. And you know, we start each morning, you know, most mornings with a half an hour to an hour and a half devotional time, on the clock. But that's just giving the first and the best to God, because if it's not for kingdom purposes, what does it really matter? Amen. So it truly is a privilege to just be here. And then uh, Pastor Sam Reeves is here from Liberia, and I didn't even know where Liberia was in, uh, back in uh, December 18th, and I'd come back from an anesthesia conference in New York City in Manhattan, and I had 700 Christmas cards to get out in the next few days, but I went to the Culpeper Ministerial Association to honor Pastor Randy Orndorff, and, um, and anyway, I met uh, Pastor uh, Sam Reese um, there. There was only one seat left. David Bean sitting there in a striped shirt, 
Green and yellow shirt, introduced, introduced them. And the reason I'm, I'm sharing that right now with Pastor Charlene, because it's so significant, Liberia is the only nation in the world established by the United States. Liberia has the longest standing relationship with the United States of any country in Africa. And you know, as I've sown my seed into that, I really believe that that's what opened the door to partner with your church, with the web, to help get your message out to the world. But I didn't know the history of Liberia, and I found out that day, seven days before Christmas, how many of you know that seven is God's favorite number? Amen. <laughs> 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 but God has a good sense of humor too. <laughs> He's the most joyful being in the universe, you know. And the joy of the Lord is our strength, right? Yeah. Right? So we want to just have joy on our faces. Yeah. And our all the time. Yeah. Well, it was established in the 1820s or 1830s as to be a safe haven for slaves when they were set free. Yes. So it's a special place, and I truly believe that this relationship that, that Pastor Charlene and Pastor Jacob and now White Oak Run Baptist Church has with Liberia is huge. It's huge. God is behind this. And, and I really believe that God wants to use this relationship to heal long-standing long differences between blacks and whites and between the north and the south. And, and Liberia was established by people from Virginia. From, from Virginia. So, you know, this day, I declare, the Lord says that this day, May 25th, 2008, is a turning point in the history of White Oak Run Baptist Church. Come on. 